This video demonstrates how to run ADS simulation from command line. Here I have an ADS workspace with two designs that look similar to run an ADS simulation from command line. You first need to generate a netlist for a schematic design using this dynamic link. Top level net design netlist. This menu item is callback will generate a netlist file. You can also use this simulate generate netlist. Uh, these two menu items has the same callback function that creates a netlist. Uh, the default netlist name is netlist.log. I will compare two uh, designs, so I will name the file. To, for this one, I will name it uh, pa1.ads. The, the second one, I will use a dynamic link top level design netlist again to generate netlist. And then instead of netlist.log, I'm going to save it as pa2.ads. Both netlists are under uh, ADS workspace. change directory to my workspace directory which is examples under 9WRK so you see that pa1.ads and pa2.ads are saved here I can do a difference do a comparison between these two netlist files you can see that the netlist files are not exactly the same One have a, a sub circuit. Uh, to run the the other one, just uh, have a netlist include statement. Uh, to run the command line, you use this ADS sim script, which is located under dollar hp software slash bin. So you can type ADS sim. and then that is file name to run the simulation. Uh, first of all, you need to set .hp software to your ADS installation directory. And you also have .hp software slash bin in your path. That's all you need to run a simulation from command line. So you can type ADS sim and then netlist file name, in this case pa1.ads and it will start an ADS simulation and then simulation is finished and instead of writing dataset file to the data directory dataset is created under current working directory and then I will type ADS sim and then pa2.ads to run simulation for second uh, design. Uh, simulation finished. And it generated a different data set under the current directory. So ADS has this uh, DSDIF utility to compare a uh, data set. It's un also under $hp software slash bin directory. Uh, 
to run this uh, DSDF, you first need to source this ease of boot.sh file. Sourcing this uh, ease of boot.sh file will set up some uh, variables and most importantly, uh, shell library paths, LD library paths uh, that's required to run most of the ease of tools. This uh, ease of boot.sh file uh, sources uh, boot script.sh file. And boot script.sh file uh, does many things to set up everything required to run most of the ease of tools from command line. And these two scripts are in uh, bash, uh, in cone shell bash or, or bone shell syntax. Well, mostly bone, bone shell and cone shell syntax. So you source uh, a, a, a bone shell script by using a dot to precede the script name. Now I can type a uh, dsdiff and then followed by two data set name and the script, the tool will compare those two data sets. It shows pass because uh, there's no differences found between those two data sets despite uh, names dip them being different and then uh, so the name just didn't look the exactly the same. Uh, DSDF minus H give you some options. You can set uh, such things as tolerance, threshold, and uh, among others. So I'm opening um, EESOF Knowledge Center. Uh, you can find a lot of information from Knowledge Center, but you need to use your company's email address to log in. I'm using my Keysight email to log into my account. And I'm searching for uh, simulation uh, command line, and I want some information about uh, output in ASCII information. The first one is uh, what I'm looking for. So you can add one option, uh, ASCII row file equals yes in the netest file uh, before you run simulation. And so I'm editing peer2.ads, I'm adding this uh, option, ASCII row file equals yes to the netest. And then if I run a simulation, you see this netlist, it will generate an ASCII row file. And, and the default ASCII row file name is spectra.row. You will be able to open this spectra.row file in the editor, text editor. So it, it starts by listing variable name, uh, this is S parameter, and then uh, values of uh, at each data point. And there are like a 
100 points in the experimenter and then followed by DC uplink point and again a variable name and then followed by values at each data point. You can type um, I was trying to use uh, idea sim uh, but somehow a, a idea sim dash man dash edge uh, doesn't work in this release so uh, idea sim actually uh, Calls HP of SIM. HP of SIM is a execute uh, the ADS simulator executable. So you can use HP of SIM minus H, and then device name to get uh, some uh, parameter information. And HP of SIM minus HR gives me information about resistor device. Uh, yeah, ADS sim is a script. It calls uh, ADS run sim, and then ADS run sim is another script. Taking a look at this ADS run sim, it sets up uh, the environment, uh, but eventually it calls the simulator HP of sim to ru run the simulation. When you are running uh, ADS simulation from the GUI, uh, if you look at processes running, you will see an HP of sim uh, process running. This is the simulator process. So uh, you can type HP sub sim and then follow by netlist file name to run the simulation. So the difference is ADS sim sets up the environment but HP E sub sim you will need to source this E sub boot.sh file before running uh, HP sub sim. So that's all. Uh, that's for running ADS simulation from command line. You can look up Knowledge Center for more information. Thank you for.